everyone, welcome to Create, Make, Decorate with Nikki. Hey, for today's Dollar Tree DIY, I have a really cute Christmas gnome to share with you. You're gonna need to pick up a pack of plates over at the Dollar Tree. I picked up these white ones, they were two for a dollar. You're gonna need a mop, a hat of some kind, as well as a ball or something round. This was actually a pack of uh, beer pong balls. So getting started, you're gonna go ahead and remove your mop from the plastic piece. Now I will tell you, it was a little bit tricky getting it out of that little area there, but just have a little bit of patience and it will come out. And next up, I took a piece of my uh, string from the mop and I made sure to go ahead and tie everything right in the center as this will help you have better control of the mop when you need to go ahead and glue it down. Now grabbing my glue gun, I'm gonna go ahead and apply glue to the bottom half of the plate. Now I will tell you ahead of time that you will be using a lot of hot glue for this project. I think I went through about three or four sticks as you'll see me reloading my glue gun as I'm moving along here. But I promise you it is worth it. It's such a cute project that it's worth it for that extra glue. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and lay the mop right over that glue and you're gonna just shape it because remember this is gonna be our little gnome's beard. So do your best in trying to shape it to uh, whatever shape you want, but I will tell you that the, the way the mop lays down on the surface, it automatically kinda goes to a point at the end, which is kinda cool because a lot of their no, uh, beards go to a point. So uh, just make sure that you have it tacked down really well. It is a lot of loose pieces that you wanna get uh, glued down pretty good on there, but you do want to leave a little a few pieces a little bit more loose if I'm making sense so that the move the beard has a little bit of movement. Grabbing his hat, I did have some polyfill on hand, so I went ahead and stuffed his hat. I didn't stuff it all the way, however. I did only just stuff it in the middle, uh, mainly because I wanted to be able to bend the top piece down just to give it a little bit more character in there. And you don't want to stuff too much at the bottom because you're going to be slipping this uh, hat right over the plate. So if you get too much on the bottom, it's not going to slip over easy, and you can always add more uh, after. Okay, so now grabbing your glue gun, you're gonna go ahead and apply glue to the top half of the plate. And again, uh, make sure that you got a good amount of glue on there for the hat to be able to stick securely. And you're just gonna go ahead and place the hat right on top there. You do wanna tuck it over or bring it over a little bit over the mop, over those raw edges so that you don't see any of that messy part. Now that you are done shaping out his beard, you probably will find that you might need a little bit more stuffing like I did here. And just go ahead and stuff it to your liking. Um, I just added a little bit more in there as it was a little bit too flat at the end edges there. So I just wanted a little bit more fullness in there. And uh, just go ahead and hot glue and then secure it back down uh, once you're done. Now you can see him starting to come to life. I think he's just turning out so adorable. We're not quite there yet, we're almost there. But you can definitely see that it's starting to look like a little gnome. So now at this point you're gonna grab your ball, in my case my beer pong ball, but whatever you can come up with, and you're just gonna go ahead and glue it down into the center. I place mine where it was kind of tucked under the cap just a little bit. I just took the top of the hat and I went ahead and just glued it down just to kind of mimic like it was flopping over uh, just to give it a little bit more character and um, I picked up these bells they had some bells over at the Dollar Tree you got two for a dollar and I thought it would be the perfect little embellishment for the rim of my little gnome's hat I seriously think this project just turned out so cute and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I did creating it. And uh, gnomes are so popular right now. They're all over the place, if you've noticed, all over the stores and I seriously have become addicted to these cute little guys. And how unique and different is this one? I've never seen a gnome head in the store anywhere. And honestly, we created this project for less than $5. How cute, how unique, and how different. 
Hey, I would love to know if you guys are as gnome obsessed as I am and if you think that you will be creating this cute little guy. If so, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Uh, as always, I hope that you are following me on all social media platforms as well as over at createmakedecorate.com. You all have a wonderful and blessed day and I hope this has inspired you to get out and create, make, decorate something beautiful for your home. Happy creating!